Hey everyone, uh, we have a new opening today. Um, it is uh, Vice Shots. Probably saying that wrong. Um, I remember someone saying how to say it. Ah. Someone explaining how to pronounce it at one point. Uh, but we have a Sword Art Online English trial deck to open, so that'll be cool. Um, if you didn't know, um, Vice Schwarz is a German name, but it's a Japanese card game. <laughs> so, it's a Japanese card game which uses a lot of popular animes um, as the character cards, and yeah, Sword Art Online is one of the newer um, animes that have come from Japan, and has just been pretty cool. So this came out in English um, only recently, so finally picked one up. Um, I'm not going to pretend I know how to play. Um, I'll be learning that probably um, today or sometime in the near future. I really do want to learn, um, so that should be cool. Uh, word of warning, this is not a cheap game. Um, booster packs here in Australia range from $7 to $14, depending on if it's a normal set or a um, smaller set. Um, smaller sets are more expensive, so just keep that in mind. Um, the trial deck here is $30. Um, a lot of other games, they're about 20 to 25 but yeah, mostly paying for the, um, the, how should I put it, the, uh, licensing costs for these, um, animes, I guess. So, I'm just trying to work out how to open this. So. I have no idea what I've just done, but I'll say I did that on purpose. <laughs> what the? I'm kind of destroying this packaging for some reason. Whoa, thought I touched the camera. Okay, we have paperwork and the deck. Okay, so just get rid of that. So this is the deck. Pretty cool. Kirito and Asuna. Um, we'll quickly have a look at this. So we have the playbook, which basically tells us um, questions for how to play the game. Um, I've been told that um, the rule books are very difficult to understand. You have to actually get someone else to sit down and teach you, so that is probably um, a recommendation, either go on YouTube, search for how to play, um, or get someone from your local card store who knows how to play. So, <clears throat> we'll just open up our play mat, it's that Bushy Road, who also makes Card Fight Vanguard, um, has designed. So this is the playmat. So we have the stock over here, climax, levels, backstage, center stage, clock, waiting room, deck, memory, whatever the heck that means. Um, so yeah, I'm sure I'll learn all that <laughs> eventually. Uh, on the other side is Sword Art Online. Kind of little poster showing the way Schwartz stuff. That's the URL. There is an English um, website for the um, game. Uh, as it says here, July 29th is when this set went on sale. Uh, just shows some of the Sword Art Online decks. And yeah, um, I believe there is a chance for a signed card in these decks, which would be pretty cool. Um, now this piece of paper seems to be a quick run-through rule sheet, so telling you how to play, 
difference between character cards, event cards, and climax cards. So we'll see if we can spot them while we're doing this. Okay, let's see. So I believe this is a character card. Um, so it's got the grade, or level, a cost, trigger, card effects. So, interesting. We have Asuna jumps to conclusions. So apparently, um, they've got, there's four colours, so blue, yellow, green, and red. Um, we have Asuna start of the battle. A few of them, obviously because it's a deck. Uh, Heathcliff's hidden identity. Asuna replies to a proposal. Asuna's veteran cooking skills. Skill, sorry. Okay, this is a climax card. So I think the other ones are event cards. I have no idea. Maybe not. Oh, so apparently this is a climax card, I think. So that's okay. I know, that's character card, um, character cards, character cards, character cards, okay, so there's this little tiny thing, let's see if I can focus on it, okay, so that CX means climax, please inform me if I'm wrong, I'm just jumping to conclusions, um, I believe you're only allowed to have eight in a deck, um, kind of like triggers in Vanguard, hey, you're only allowed to have 16. Uh, we have Kirito, start of the battle. Oh, the climax was called Star Splash. I really do love this artwork. Not so much the um, stills from the anime itself like this. I'm not, not quite a fan of that. I kind of like this whole stylized artwork kind of thing. Um, their child, Yui. For them. Lovely girl Yui. Uh, Kirito joins the Knights of the Blood Oath. Uh, Axe Warrior Agil or Agil. Uh, Kirito Snow Mountain on floor 55. Uh, another climax. End of the world. That reminds me of that song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I believe. Yep, another climax. Dual wielder. Uh, dual wielding user. So we've got two of them. Uh, we have lead group Asuna. Lead group Kirito. Beta Kirito. Uh, Kirito and Asuna, which is the same as the first card. Asuna enters the underground dungeon. And that's it. So, that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I didn't get the um, sign card. But that's, that's the breaks. Ha, <laughs> I don't mind. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I'll obviously find out how to play and maybe kind of do a little tutorial. Um, so would you like to have a little tutorial video for each card game on just basics on what what each card kind of does, like how to play from one person's perspective? Like, can't really set up the two, I don't think, but I don't know. I can explain Pokemon pretty easily, and Vanguard, it's it's simple enough to work out, so once I learn Vice Schwartz, we'll see, but um, yeah, if you're interested in um, any videos along those lines, um, let me know in the comments or private message, and yeah.
Maybe I'll get into way by shot some more. <laughs> I know, pretty cool. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you for the next episode. <laughs>